Theme parks, tank tops, and protein shakes. Not so much on this vlog. Hey, you guys, busy getting Disney crew, what's up? It's Wes, John and I have just arrived back home in New Jersey. We're gonna be here for the next week. Our hotel is here in Edison, New Jersey, which is like central New Jersey, a little bit north of the Jersey Shore. We're gonna be here for a week. We've got a lot of family to catch up with, a lot of close friends. We've got an agenda every day of this trip. So I figured I would try to do my best to do one big vlog, maybe 30, 35 minutes. We'll see at the end of this what it turns out to be. One vlog with little clips of each of our days here while we're visiting family at home and one day in New York City. So thanks for joining you guys. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button to follow Busy Getting Disney on the journey. But this week we are in New Jersey. Welcome to my hometown, my home state, the Garden State. Thanks for joining you guys. We'll have a great vlog. And uh, thanks for spending the week with us. So John sent me out. John's back at the hotel taking a nap because we're a little sleep deprived. But he sent me out to get us some food. He's trusting me. And I can't think of a better place to have a first meal back home in New Jersey. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Oh, you guys, I've waited four years. Four years for this. I've missed it so much. Now this feels like home in a really big way. Okay, so believe it or not, we do actually have one White Castle in Orlando, but that's not authentic. We've actually never gotten to go there because the, the it's so popular in Orlando because we don't have it in Florida. It's brand new down there. White Castle in New Jersey, different story. That is authentic. I've got to get all these burgers. I actually bought 14 cheeseburgers, seven for John, seven for me, plus an order of clam strips and French fries. And I can't wait till I get back to the hotel because I am sneaking one. Right now. And you can share in the ecstasy with me. Mm, 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 mm. It's the little things. <laughs> and welcome to West Caldwell, New Jersey. I lived in West Caldwell from the time I was 18 till I moved out. I was about 25. So yes, we've arrived at West Caldwell, New Jersey now in West Essex County. You guys didn't hear this whole like preface to starting the, the camera. He was explaining what he was going to be doing. I haven't vlogged in so long. <laughs> you know, two years ago when we started the channel, everything was a vlog, so I was so used to it. And then when we started live streaming, that's all that happens now. So I haven't had my vlogging mojo back. But anyway, we are in West Caldwell, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're in West Caldwell. We're about to go to my dad's house. He lives just a few blocks from here, so we'll go say hi to my dad. It's been and, a while uh, since seeing him. You, you, it's been like a year for you. It's been probably about two and a half years for three. me. Three. Three years. Three and a half years. Three years, yeah. Yeah. So it's been a little while. So we'll go, uh, we'll go over to his house now and get uh, Wilbur on the vlog so you can enjoy him for a little bit too. <laughs> Okay, you gang, it's my dad, the man of the hour. It's Wilbur. You guys might know Wilbur from our live streams. He does join occasionally. He always watches, and he just turned 90. Last month, I haven't seen him in about a year and a half. Did you miss me? I sure did. He missed me. Just I missed you too. my kids. So, but time goes fast, and we were overdue for a visit, but we're up here now. And I'm looking forward to his chicken cutlets, because my dad makes the best chicken cutlets. And, and you made them already, right? Yeah, and I really miss my ride. He misses my mom. Yeah, he misses my mom. But we'll be together again. Yeah, some. We'll all be together again. So, yeah. but we're gonna we're gonna go inside. We're gonna have um, chicken cutlets, and but I wanted you guys to be able to say hi to Wilbur. He'll be back in the yeah. live streams, and we'll see him again. Want to okay. say goodbye to everybody? Okay, bye everybody. I love you all. He loves all of you too. See, stay holy. Stay holy. <laughs> okay, that's it. The yeah. the rosary beads are decoration, by and the way. God be with you. All right, God be with you. <laughs> Hallelujah! Love you all. He loves you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hallelujah. <laughs> never a dull moment in the Zosh household. And never a dull moment with my dad. If you guys had heard the conversation we were all having and the stories he was telling before the little video clip that I shot of him, you would understand his new catchphrase, which is, stay holy. My dad was telling stories about when he worked for the church that we grew up in, the church the school we went to, Holy Name School, the convent, the rectory. My dad had all the stories about the priests 
and the nuns <laughs> and the goings on. He's got a lot of stories to tell, stories that I could not put here on YouTube. Now he just says, stay holy. <laughs> And good morning, gang. We're in New York City. We're on about day four of our trip back home right now. And it's John and me, John's cousin Alicia, her boyfriend Pete, and John's Aunt Lucy. We're out here for a day in the city and we've got a few cool things planned. I think I'm most excited about real pizza. Finally, and then we're going to see a show. Okay, gang, I would like to introduce you to Alicia's mom and John's aunt. This is Aunt Lucy. Hi there. Back in the city. She hasn't been in New York City in a few months now, too. And um, we're very excited because we are going to a Broadway show this afternoon. We are going to go see Tina. Yay. That Tina Turner musical. Were you with Tina Turner? Of course. Yeah, me too. Of course. Tina's one of my idols, so we're looking forward to that. I miss Aunt Lucy. I did miss you. It's been great too. hanging out with Aunt Lucy these last few days. And I think in the next couple of days, you might even bump into okay. John's mom. Yeah. The myth course. and the legend, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, again, thanks for joining us, you guys. This is about day four on our trip back home. And um, now let's go check out this thing. Be still my beating heart. Real pizza. Okay, you guys, you guys remember Alicia and Pete. You all know Alicia from our live chats. The last time I had real New York pizza, it was with these two right here. I actually had it for lunch and dinner. And you guys loved it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and we're we're ready again. <laughs> Finally! Right up there with White Castle. Maybe a little better. I like the garlic. Mm-hmm. Watch the Premier League, we need your votes. It's Tina, that Tina Turner musical. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so excited to see this show. What did think of that show, Dave? Oh, it was good. We liked it a lot. It was, it was so good. Excited. The end the end of the yeah. show was like a real, it was like a Tina concert from years ago. I think I might have cried a little bit, a few times, several times. <laughs> We're gonna go walking through the city, you guys. I'm gonna wrap up today's part of this vlog, and then we'll see you back in New Jersey tomorrow. We'll be there tonight, actually. And tonight. <laughs> Good morning, gang. It's Wes here. We are on day seven of our 10-day visit back home. Welcome to East Orange, New Jersey. You guys, this is my hometown and I am on my home street. It's Westcott Street in East Orange. And I'm feeling rather, rather emotional and very nostalgic right now. Right behind me, you guys, that is the house I grew up in. I was born in 1969. I lived here at 16 Westcott Street from 1969 until 1987 when I was 18 and my parents moved us to West Caldwell, but this is the house I grew up in. Oh my God, so many memories, such a long time ago, but my heart is still here in a really big way. So, so, so many memories, I cannot even tell you. So my parents and my four brothers and I, all seven of us, we lived on the first floor here at 16 Westcott Street. We lived on the first floor and my grandmother, Nana Zosh, on my dad's side, she lived upstairs on the second floor. It was a two family house. But on the first floor, it was my mom, my dad, my brothers, my older brothers, Will, Wally, and Wayne, myself, <laughs> my younger brother, Warren, seven of us in one apartment down there and one bathroom. But somehow we made it work. Definitely some of the best memories of my life that I will always cherish. The first 18 years of my life, wow. So awesome. 16 Westcott Street, East Orange, New Jersey. Gang, thank you so much for sharing this with me. My little trip down memory lane. Okay, so as long as we were passing through East Orange, I could not take a quick peek at my elementary school. This is where my best friend Beverly and I went to school when we were kids. 
So when we were here going to school, elementary school, this was Holy Name School, Holy Name Church. It's right over there, that was our church. This was Holy Name Rectory. I believe it's still the rectory where the priests live. This was our school. And then the convent was right over there, Holy Name Convent, where the nuns lived. But this was our school. And I remember this part so well. That was our kindergarten classroom. That up there was the seventh grade classroom. Down there was our third grade classroom. And up there, our eighth grade classroom. As long as I've been home, catching up with people and friends, family, I could not stop by the old haunts also. So cool. So what used to be Holy Name School, Holy Name Elementary School, long time ago it is now the Johnny Cochran Jr. Academy of Legal Studies. I love how though in the artwork, all of the saints, all of the different Catholic saints <laughs> are still engraved in the walls. Hey gang, what's up? We are on our next to the last day of our visit home, back home. John and I just arrived at the Jersey Shore. So happy and so awesome to be back on the shore. We're at Point Pleasant Beach. We are meeting up with John's mom and dad and John's cousin Alicia, Alicia and Pete once again. So we're gonna show you guys the boardwalk. Walk the boardwalk. See what's going on on the beach. And just enjoy our last day back home. And then tomorrow it's back to Orlando. It's a beautiful summer day. Glad you guys are here with us. Hey gang, look who it is. We're in Jersey. John's mom. <laughs> when was the last time you were on the boardwalk? Two years Mom, Ralph. Ago. Two years. How does it feel to be back? Weird. A little weird? Yeah. It's been a long time, right? Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. Look at all the people on the beach. It's pretty crowded out there today. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crowded. The boardwalk isn't that crowded though. Yeah. It's not too crazy out here. Mom, R, what's your favorite thing to eat on the boardwalk? Zeppelis. Zeppelis, is that what we're getting? Later for Zeppelis, okay. Frank's Fun Center. Evidently, John used to play in this arcade when he was a kid. So John is mom and dad. Gonna check out a little old haunt here in the arcade. So John was a teenager in the 90s. I was a teenager in the 80s. Back in the 80s, my brother Warren and I, we would be playing Pac-Man in these arcades on the beach, on the boardwalk all day long. Oh boy, John's mom is hitting the ski ball. I am awesome at ski ball, but she's doing pretty good. Very good, mom, Ralph. I'm quite frankly impressed. Were you always good at this? I always enjoyed it. It doesn't get more Jersey Shore than this, you guys. Ski ball on the boardwalk. Let's see if I can beat John Paul. It was 190 is what she does. She did pretty good. I am quite frankly impressed. All right, come on, ball. Don't fail me now. All right, not off to the best start. That's better. Not bad. What are the chances we could get your mom on a roller coaster? Zero. I'm always trying. If you get her on something, though. If I can't get her on a roller coaster in Disney, it's not gonna happen on the Jersey Shore, on the boardwalk either. Point Pleasant Beach is crowded today. Back in the old days, my brother Warren and I would wait for September to roll around and we would hit the beach out here on the weekdays in September because it would be less crowded. And in September, after Labor Day, you don't have to pay to get on the beach. 
But during the summer, you gotta pay. So the gang is all here now. Alicia and Pete arrived. Aunt Lucy is back again too. John's mom and dad stopped for some ice cream. Everybody's got their treats. And we're just hanging out on the boardwalk tonight. It's a beautiful evening. So mom Ralph, mom Ralph and Aunt Lucy, who was the troublemaker growing up? I was always the troublemaker, yeah. Oh, Aunt Lucy didn't even look. She knew. That's right. That I was know easy. what you're doing. <laughs> So it's been a great 10 days. We're going back home tomorrow, but I sure appreciate you guys hanging out with us as we caught up with friends and family and our home state of New Jersey. But who's ready to be back in Disney with me? I'm ready. I do miss the park, so I'm not gonna lie. I remember riding all of these kiddie rides here at Point Pleasant when I was a little boy. But today we ride the big boy rides. In Orlando, the police chief Robert Collins. Okay, gang, thank you again so much for joining us on this journey, this blast to the past for John and me back home in New Jersey, visiting family and friends and catching up with people we haven't seen in several years. I appreciate you guys being here. Anybody who happens to be new to the channel, this is Busy Getting Disney. I'm Wes, also known as Jersey Boy Wes on Instagram and TikTok. Feel free to follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this vlog. If you're new to the channel again, please click that subscribe button to continue following us on the journey. And I will see you guys back in Orlando, back at the theme parks, Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, all that good stuff. For now, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. It's Wes, over and out.